Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to yet another cyberdeck adventure. In this case involving a French Minitel video text terminal from the 1980s and an Arduino Mega 2560 clone, one of the original Arduino boards that come pre-installed in the IDE and that you can use right away without installing anything extra. Now these two make for an excellent combination and I dare say this terminal is in general an excellent choice for microcontroller experiments for it features a serial port of 5 volt voltage so you don't need any serial port voltage level converters and these two simply communicate directly. Now the Minitel is of course historically important as the terminal of choice for a French alternative of the internet, which lived on up until the early 2010s, if I'm not entirely mistaken, 2012 maybe it was that it was turned off, not entirely sure here, but until fairly recently it existed in one form or another. And of course it met its demise just like German BTX and similar British, Spanish and, and other systems with the advent of the internet. Though, not entirely. It turns out that there are still numerous operators of private Minitel sites, so if you would like to experience this BBS-like world, you are essentially still able to do so even via the phone line, provided that you can somehow connect this French phone line connector that is attached to the terminal to whatever you are having in your part of the world. Now, the interesting thing is that the Minitel is actually working with something called Videotex, not with ASCII. So that means that it does not entirely operate the way you would be used with an ASCII terminal, though you can change it into ASCII mode. But let's look at the aesthetics of this for a second, then we'll let, let's demonstrate how the machine would be working. So if I say, hello there. Yeah, how was that? There, ah, what was backspace? <laughs> Retour, correction, annulation, repetition, I'm not sure. Anyway, there, my dear viewers. That's what it looks like in, <laughs> I made another typing mistake. <laughs> Yeah, hello there, my dear viewers in Videotex. But if we turn it into ASCII, which is the unfortunate advice that you get all the time on any forum concerning the Minitel, is that you press function T and then A, and then things become much narrower. It's by nature a 40 column times 25 rows terminal, but when you do it in ASCII, it becomes 80 column with less illumination. And if I say there, hello, there, meh, okay, my dear <laughs> viewers with a million of typing mistakes, I'm just not used to this, then this is what it looks like. And you know, I just don't like it that much. So one of the challenges in this experiment was to keep things video taxi and not succumb to the temptations of simply turning it into an ASCII terminal. So again, function T, but this time not A for ASCII, but V for video text, and back we are in business. Physically, you can also see a couple of wires sticking out of it. Well, that's an unfortunate detail. The Minitels have become a rather brittle over the decades, one can hardly blame them, and what is very unfortunate is that the French postal services seem to be really going postal on terminals. I don't know how they transport them, my guess would be with some rhinoceros placed on them, because they almost always seem to arrive broken, even though they are excellently packaged, you know, double carton packaging, bubbles in between everything, and yet the terminal arrives with little parts coming off it, though you can see in the seller pictures that it was in fact intact then and there. 
that is something you should pay attention to. Other than that, it's actually very comfortable to open because it doesn't have any screws. It has only apparently four clips to hold it, four at the base, which plastic clips which you need to push in in order to separate it, and two hidden perfidiously inside this little ridge here at the top. <laughs> The, it had still one and I broke it off. The other one had apparently broken off during transport. They are hard to unclip. In particular, they are inex unexpected if you don't know about them. So that's about the physics of the thing. And the serial port is non-standard. I have read different explanations about it. And that it is... Some say a five pin serial port, that's what it looks like, but others are saying it's actually a six pin serial port of which one pin is simply rendered invisible. And if you look at it behind, basically it is having like five holes, like tuck, 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 and tuck. The leftmost and rightmost are your RX and TX, whereas your center one is the hole for the grounding. These I have connected via three wires directly to the microcontroller. And if I now turn on the microcontroller, we shall see the Lisp system called ULISP by David Johnson Davies, one of the original British computer pioneers of the 1980s, who has created this subset of common Lisp version for all sorts of microcontrollers down to the Arduino Uno, but also up to things like the TNC 4.1. So depending on platform, the capabilities differ. It is without question my favorite programming language on microcontrollers for more complex tasks. Indeed, on this one, as I shall demonstrate in a second, I have even placed a little artificial intelligence of sorts. Though in general terms, it operates exactly as you would expect from a Lisp system. So if I want to multiply 8 and 9, I would be doing that, enter 72. And you see, everything is in general as you would expect. But if you would like to run it in video text mode rather than ASCII, there are a couple of things you should pay regard to. Number one, this doesn't scroll, not the way you would be used to. So if I, for instance, say one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, five, enter, with the aim of getting off the screen, you will see that it will not scroll. It will do something else. So now let's say 9999, so you easily notice it. Enter, ah, out of range, okay, okay. I say now 8888, it's up there, hmm? 777 and so on. So it is going down, but then it is overwriting things, which is, to say the least, unusual, not to say annoying. But I discovered that if you write a decimal 12, so that's just simply the, the, the heck, like the binary 12, <laughs> okay, that sounds funny, but you, you understand me. I don't mean the number 12 as expressed by the figures 1 and 2 in ASCII, but just really a byte with the decimal value 12. Then you can clear the screen and it happens suddenly and without any you know warning or anything. So I have bound this to the one curly brace and then we're having a clear screen like that and of course I can then again continue to operate Lisp but that would be the most remarkable quirk when you use it. Also the other thing which I find puzzling is that it doesn't seem to have a backspace key. The correction doesn't seem to be really correctioning anything at all. So if I press 78 um, it somehow doesn't get it, so I simply bound the other curly brace to backspace. So if I say that, and then this, and then that, then I'm getting simply an 8. So these are a little bit the quirks if you would like to enter your own projects. But other than that, you can in fact use it in video text mode and do not have immediately to flee to ASCII. But now, what AI was I talking about? Well, let's have a look at it. So I shall 
type run, which is its triggering function. And I'm calling the system a topic sequencer. The idea being that you enter sentences with a first word assumed to be the main constituent of the sentence, so to say the sentence's topic. And then you may ask for any sentences starting with that word by placing it in parentheses within some other sentence. To give you a couple of examples, clearing the screen again, zack, I love that. So let's say John loves Mary. does nothing, right? It's just, it accepted it, so to say, within its knowledge base, and it did nothing further with it. Now we say John is friendly. That's it. Now let's say Mary loves, now let's put it into the parenthesis John, then it will tell us the other sentences which started with John. John is friendly, John loves Mary. And that way, the system, so to say in a simplistic fashion, can follow along topics which the user supplies. Now, of course, I know you're thinking, man, this is rather simple, and you would be right. But then again, I'm having eight kilobytes available. So <laughs> it, it's actually amazing that this is even past possible. So if I say Mary and John are married, then I'll get in a similar fashion something about Mary. Mary loves John. And that way I'm having a powerful artificial intelligence workstation running on Lisp on a microcontroller with a French Minitel terminal. It is certainly one of the cutest things one can have. I do believe that the most beautiful terminal of all times is the Digital Equipment Corporation VT05, but lacking that and lacking the skills to fix one, I can warmly recommend you the Minitel for your own experiments. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you here soon again, hopefully for further adventures. If not a subscriber yet, please consider joining our friendly community. Until we meet again, have a wonderful time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.